What is going on my beautiful people? Today is February 10th and turkey season comes in about a month. It starts March 23rd here in the state of Georgia. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to get some corn, we're going to get the camera set out, and hopefully we're going to get some pictures of some turkeys that we can put the smack down on this upcoming turkey season. But hope you guys enjoy today's video and if you do hit that like button and go on and subscribe. All right, so now that we have the corn, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a camera. We're going to set it up where two roads come together. we got a road coming this way. This is the road that's had all the, scra uh, the scrapes on it, and then this is the road that goes back to the house. And they come together, and they go to the field down there. You can kind of see it coming through the trees. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put a camera facing where these two roads meet. That way, if any turkeys are walking down the roads to the field or walking up the road from the field, we'll hopefully be able to get them on camera. And hopefully we'll have some good pictures for you all. I think we got all the cameras set on video, 10 second intervals. So hopefully we're going to get some good videos. Maybe even some videos of some turkeys strutting or gobbling or something like that. Alright, so now we have come down a little bit. We back towards the field. We got to stand right there in that tree. The road goes back up this way. And right up in here is where we just set up that last camera. We're going to get another camera set up right here on this tree. Looking back at the field. Kind of in this little shallow pocket area where turkeys like to come in and hang out right here. That way they can see through the field and then get back up the hill into this road and up into this thick stuff. So we're going to set a camera right here, hopefully getting some walking back in through here and then into the bigger portion of the field we got right here. And we're going to set a camera up right there as well. And hopefully with these three cameras, we're going to get all the turkeys we got back here because we know we got a couple of them from some of the old pictures we've had. Um, I've seen or I've showed some pictures on this channel before but we're gonna get a turkey this year it's been a couple of years since I've actually killed a turkey almost probably six years because when I was in college I really didn't get the opportunity to hunt too much but we are gonna change that this year all right the last location we got for the camera is actually right here dad's putting some finishing touches on it and the, what we got is it's gonna come this road's gonna funnel any of the turkeys in they're going to come out into the field and this camera is going to be able to take a picture of them. We've got a camera on the other side of the field right over here in this area. That's going to be taking a picture of the field from that end, looking back towards us or anything coming on the road up there. And then where the roads kind of meet together to form this other road that comes into the field, we've got a camera way up there looking at the road. So really, any time a turkey's coming into this field or anything really, whether it's a coyote, a deer, a possum, a raccoon, a turkey, a person, we gonna get them on camera. So what I don't understand is how it's February, right? And this is a deer scrape. And you can see in the mud where the deer's hooves has come through and scraped up. And he's cleared him out a little place. It's right under a branch. So what I'm confused about, is that an actual deer scrape where he's trying to attract a doe? Like is this a, just a super late post rut kind of thing? Or what could that be? Somebody tell me in the comments, because I'm just baffled by it. But we're going to get back to the house. We're going to look at the trail camera, because this is actually right in front of a location where we've had a trail camera all season. Hopefully, we'll have whatever was doing this, and maybe that'll give us a little more information. But I've never seen a scrape this late in the season. Dad, have you? Nope. Nope, he ain't seen one either. So we really don't know what that is, but if you know, leave it in the comments and let me know. Well, everybody, I am back in my room now, in case you didn't get the memo. And I actually have some turkey calls in front of me. These are some bone collector turkey calls, I think, that I picked up at Walmart. Um, this one is the KI. And I'm going to just practice some turkey calls. I'm no, no way an expert. Uh, I'm really not good at mouth calls at all. But I figure we can learn together. And I'm going to be ready. Whether I need a box call, a slate call, or somebody else to call, we going to figure this out, but I figured I'd give a shot with some mouth calls that I got for Christmas. What do you guys think? I don't think that sounds too terrible. I uh, might fool a older turkey if he has some hearing problem. 
Let me try just a regular old cluck for you. What do you think about that cluck? Is that bad? Was it good? What can I do to make it better? I don't know. You all are the experts. Let me know. I'm going to go for a cackle now. Let me know what you think. I don't know. I mean, it, maybe it's just this call because I think that sounded pretty decent. I'm not crazy. I used to compare with a mouth call. I haven't tried it in a long time. Hey, let's give it a full scene. Oh, that was bad. I don't know. I can't purr anymore, y'all. I just can't do it. Hey, I think that'll work to call in a turkey, but that's about it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Hopefully, I'll be able to call up some turkeys for you in a couple months here, and I'm pumped to get out there. I'm really excited to call in some turkeys. Candace has actually never been turkey hunting, and she really wants to go, so maybe we can get her a bird. That'd be pretty exciting to watch get Candace her first ever turkey. But... Let me know what I can do to improve on my turkey calling abilities. I know there's way more people out there with a lot more skill than I have when it comes to a mouth call. Uh, maybe in the near future I'll do a slate versus box versus mouth call and see which one I can work the best and let you all tell me what I'm doing wrong. That way I can figure it out. But I love every single one of you. Thanks for watching today's video. Go on and hit that like button if you'd like. And go ahead and subscribe if you like my content and want to stick around and see some more of it. I love every single one of you. Thanks for your time. And always remember, when nature calls, you better answer. Peace out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before y'all go anywhere, before y'all go somewhere, I do have this little, mouth, this little mouth call right here. This is a Flex Tone Game Calls. I think this one is, yes, yeah, the Thunder Yelper 2. Let me know if you think this sounds like a turkey, because to me, it sounds like somebody run over a dog. Yeah, see, that to me just don't sound like a turkey. Especially when you do it like that. That sounds like somebody hit a dog's tail with a rocking chair. <laughs> so does that sound good? Or what about this? To me, the mouth call sounds a hundred times better than that, but we'll see what it sounds like on film. Let me know if you think this sounds good or if it sounds like somebody run over a dog, and let me know what I can do to fix my mouth calls. Next time, I'll have a box call and a slate call to test out for you all, but help me get a turkey this year. All right, everybody. No more distractions. Thank you for watching, and always remember, when nature calls, you better answer.